Sheffield Wednesday versus Hartlepool in the Peace Cup. Hi guys and welcome to this video. If you like, share and subscribe to the channel, I would much appreciate it. Like and help the algorithm, share and get some fun people faces and subscribe and let me know you like the content. And if you want to uh, hit that notification bell, it'll let you know when I go live with videos. And you want more Talking Wednesday content? Of course you do. Talking Wednesday every Tuesday at 5pm on Deck Thursday Box of Channel and on all podcasting platforms of choice. So Sheffield went to got Hartlepool at home in the game and they have recently just changed their manager. So everything's a change for them. He's not starting tonight, but I think they're in like 17th place in the league, if I can remember from my preview. The team lined up tonight are Wild Smith, Patterson, Brennan, Brown, Shadipo, Byers, Wing, Dave Royal, Corbin, So and Berahino. The subs are Render, Agbonema, Hunt, Waldock, Bannon, Windath, Adi Owen, for us, and for Hartlepool, it's Mitchell, Stray, Odesson, Hendry, Francis Angola, Jones, Smith, Crawf- Crawford, Shelton, Govwin and Gray. The subs are Kilby, Brian, Ogle, Ferguson, Houlihan, Olmonger, and Fondope. I think that's how you say it. So yeah, we really need to come out of the blocks in this and see how we can get into it. But let's see how we do in the first half. So, in the first half, well, let's be honest, we were terrible. We just, we did not have no possession. We looked like a team that just didn't turn up. They're not used to playing on the 7 o'clock kickoff. They're used to 7 40 eyes, and they just not turned up tonight. This is a squad full of players who uh not in our starting 11 at times. And yes, granted, we don't have really recognised senior centre-back. we got... Uh, Brennan, but he's just a kid, and like Dex said on the podcast, he's, he's missing having someone at the side of him to teach him the game. Patterson being there, great, but Patterson's not not played defend, defence for years and years and years, so it's a bit of a new one for him. But both goals for them, we gift. Absolute gift. Uh, first one, really bad back path by us to try and get it to him. Corner, whips it in. Gets it in, it's a goal. And it pulled by Wildsmith for Welker. He's well off his line. He flaps at it like this. Nowhere near it. And it's 1 0. And then as soon as that happens, it goes back to being 2 0. It's an own goal by Brown. Absolute poor communication by the pair of them. Uh, Brown didn't check to see where Wildsmith was and just plays it back into the empty net. Absolute criminal that he's done that. And it's really poor. We've not had that midfield. You can tell we're missing Bannon. You can tell we're missing Dunkley at the back. There is no organisational leaders. Patterson is captain tonight and he's doing best he can, but there's no leaders. The midfield is being outrun by a Hartlepool team who have been very poor. And we have got to that mentality, I reckon, once again, where it's a smaller team. And... Yes, people are going to go, well, it's Pete's Cup. We don't really want to be in it anyway, so let's get out of it. But it's good money, good gates, and you want to keep that momentum going. And this first half just was not good enough for me. Absolutely poor, shocking, you name it, was not good enough. Really need to kick up the backside, but 2-0 down at the minute. You could see this being game over and done. But let's see what happens. But it's very poor. There are going to be some changes at half time or at least early on in the second half for me because this is poor. This is very poor. And these are players who should be fighting to show Darren Moore why they want to be in the team. Berahino and So have been non existent. Berahino just keeps running offside. At the moment with Berahino, I wouldn't mind actually just turning around and saying, you know what, come January, we'll cut your contract short. It's not worked. But we'll see what happens. Uh, at the moment, it is 2-0 Hartlepool. Well, we make changes. We we bring on Bannon. We bring on Windach. We bring on Hunt to try and change it up. It looks like it's working a little bit, but we still don't look comfortable at all. They get a corner. Simple again. It's a set peak goal once again. 3-0. And at that point, we're done. Absolutely done. Uh, just not at the races at all. If these are players who are wanting to impress more and say, look, I deserve to be in the squad, not many have 
shown that tonight. They really haven't. They've let a team who's in really bad poor, poor form in Hartlepool. For Hartlepool, a lot of their players will be wanting to show, they've shown their manager tonight, their new manager, I want to be in the squad, I want to be in. Yes, people go, we don't want to be in the Peters Cup and it'll be, it's less of a fixture hassle. Yes, I agree. But you look at some of the teams that are just, uh, it were left. It's like you could have had a cup final day. And it's 20,000 20, just for getting to next round, I think. But it's just, we just didn't turn up. And the thing is, what's annoying is this now stops our momentum. We got Portsmouth next game in the league. We got a break from now till Tuesday. Because we haven't got any games. So let's see what happens. But it's just a poor showing by Wednesday. And right near the end, there was right after between Patterson and someone else. Patterson go for the ball, overdoes it. And the the Hartlepool player has got Patterson in a headlock, not letting go. So Patterson throws his arm back to say, let go. And he just not let go. Both get a yellow for it. I don't get why Patterson got yellow because the Hartlepool player just wouldn't let him get up. But it's a poor showing by the t- club tonight. Um... Yes, it's not a starting full of lineup and stuff, and I understand why we've wrecked the people. But tonight shows you how much we missed Barry Bannon in the middle of the park. He didn't play in the first half, and we were poor. Byers and uh, Wing, just nowhere near good enough. At the back, it shows you how we are literally, at the moment, built on Dunkley. That is it. At the back, Dunkley is it. If we don't have Dunkley, we look very poor. And it's a, it's a just poor result all around. And yeah, we're out of the cup. We can go on to do other things now in the league and go from there. But it's just, yeah, just a poor showing by Wednesday.